Welcome back to Fish for Thought. So I saw this thumbnail and I had to make a react of it because it looks like I'm going to be very conflicted by the end of this video. We'll see. So before we get started, if you want to sponsor the channel and this video, please drop that like button and subscribe. Turn on those notifications. Thank you for the sponsorship and support. Okay, we are starting off strong. We've got a shrimp with a beautiful backdrop that is a planted aquarium aquascape design and tutorial so this is going to be an aquascape design and tutorial video for a spongebob scape i wonder what kind of substrate that is kind of just looks like coarse gravel to me doesn't look like nutrient rich i love that rock by the way oh oh <laughs> seizure warning subscribe guys the rock placement is beautiful so far and they're interesting they're blocky, but they have some interesting facades uh, and features and fronts to them. Yeah, we got pretty nicely balanced. We need a bit more. Oh, great. Somewhere there is amazing. Wow, yeah, I love the levels of the substrate. It really ramps it up. Got some little bits of attention to detail there using smaller stones. A double corner scape, but not exactly the same. And it's bridged by a bit of rock in the middle classic perfect scape added more substrate which is always important using some tissue and some a bit of glue a bit of liquid glue there or perhaps just water <laughs> the crusty crab all right here we go okay so far the scape was amazing now he's put in the crusty crab oh interesting squidward's house is oh there's spongebob's house now, I don't know if this is historically accurate to the show. It's not. It's definitely not. Because Spongebob's house and Squidward's house and Patrick's house, which is going in right there, they're all supposed to be beside each other. The Krusty Krab is definitely not in the middle of their houses. Which, I don't know, maybe in the new series, nowadays it is. Maybe they moved houses, but the last time... Okay, yeah. Telling us to subscribe again? Okay. The man's gotta eat, alright? He's gotta do what he's gotta do, so... What is Squidward and he's got his sunglasses is he relaxing patrick looks kind of creepy gary looks very creepy he doesn't know where to put gary Gary looks so creepy he's got this like perma smile going on he even got the chum bucket okay he's adding some little details oh the larger pieces of rock really attention to detail here he's making a little bit of a path man this is so interesting <laughs> okay this is by far the best spongebob scape I'm sorry, I'm losing my words. He's using finer sand substrate for aesthetic purposes. That's... Look, he's making the path. Oh, this is great. I'm just so confused because... Oh, he's adding moss. He's adding some carpeting moss. Some moss attachments. Ooh. Yeah, I'm so confused. My my head is... America, explain. I am confusion. <laughs> it looks so good, but it's all artificial SpongeBob decor on top of this perfect hardscape. Ah, uh, ugh, how, why, why are you doing this? <laughs> why are we here just to suffer? He's got some macro. You don't need to zoom in on the Gary. <laughs> you got buse? He's got a carpet of buse. He's got a magnificent carpet of buse and moss and Anubius Nana showing off the Gary statue again. It's probably the worst Gary I've ever seen. He's got paths. When did he put in those wooden paths? That's the weirdest Squidward I've ever seen as well. What is he doing? <laughs> but these macro panning shots are so funny. It's so serious, but it's just the Krusty Krab. <laughs> but look around it. It's amazing. What stocking is this? We got some Odessa barbs, I think. And we got some neon tetras. What? What is Plankton doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm losing it. I don't know how to react. What do I say about this? No, okay, I know that it's amazing. It's an amazing scape, okay? Despite whatever is happening right now, I'm locking it down as a very good scape. Made a path, got the aesthetic sand, the different levels of hardscape, and the embedded plants, the buse. Can we just appreciate the amount of buse that's used here? And looks to me like it's a double species tank of Neon Tetras and Odessa Barb, and they're a healthy number for a school. No complaints about that. Did he cycle the tank beforehand though? I sure hope he did. He's even got some red plants in the back. Goodness gracious. I'm so confused. My heart, my heart says yes, but my technical brain says no. 
And yes, I find it so funny that he's taking these serious shots. These are serious cinematic shots of his beautifully escaped aquarium, planted tank, <laughs> with a double species stocking, which is just simply amazing. And I wouldn't complain about the stocking really, but perhaps the barbs is a little too much in this tank, but I've seen way worse. This is definitely not abusive levels. <laughs> Everything's going very well <laughs> and everything's so artificial. <laughs> you guys, I've seen some comments in my FTRs and other aquascaping videos like, Chris, try to make the best artificial tank. I don't need to anymore. I think I just found it for you guys. This is the best artificial tank. I mean, he's not using pink gravel, so I guess that's another challenge to overcome. I have yet to see a pink gravel scape that works, but here you go. A perfectly aquascaped, I would even say 5 out of 5 <laughs> if this was on FTR. Maybe that's pushing it, but I mean, without the SpongeBob stuff, it's 5 out of 5. But I'm starting to like get used to the SpongeBob stuff. It starts to like be incorporated very naturally into the scape, which is scary. I don't want that to happen. I don't know what's happening to me. Well, what about you guys? Tell me in the comments below. Are you not impressed with this? Are you not entertained? I am entertained to the max right now. This guy's doing something different. This guy's going next level. Literally a pro aquascaper decided to incorporate some artificial stuff and said, you know what? I'm gonna make it look good. I'm gonna make it work and I'm gonna make it pop. Let's see if there's any more to this video. Maybe at the end there's some surprise as if we haven't been surprised enough. Nope, just a good amount of uh, video of the fish naturally schooling. That's amazing. Uh, Pacni Kenzo, go check him out. See what else he's got on the channel. I'm not sure. I've only seen this video just now live. Well, I guess not live, but at the same time that I'm filming this. Simply amazing. Well, now we know that's possible. And every time I see a SpongeBob decoration from now on, I'm actually going to have a benchmark to where I can measure it. And I have a feeling none of them are going to match up anymore unless a channel like Green Aqua or like God forbid, ADA takes up the challenge and scapes a SpongeBob tank. I don't think I can outscape this guy using SpongeBob decorations. Heck, I don't even think I can outscape him or his SpongeBob tank without using artificial decoration. That's the sad part. This guy's darn good at what he does. And he sticks to the basics. You know, you don't have to do anything crazy. Stick to the basics and you can even incorporate some artificial decoration. <laughs> hey, if you're a big SpongeBob fan, this is right up your alley. I am, but you know, not a big enough fan to put it in my nature escapes. This guy's crazy. I mean, all the geniuses are crazy in some way or another, so maybe we've just witnessed greatness. My disappointment is not immeasurable, and my day is not ruined. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come, and I can't even talk right now. I'm still in shock, I guess. Don't forget to get your hands wet.